guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shesu 101 today I'm going to be talking about how you can become a rad tech I just passed my board exams about five days ago and um, I am now a board certified radiologic technologist what I wanted to talk about was you know how you how do you become one so for me how my program started you have to take an entrance exam I think that's what it's called you take an entrance exam you have to make a certain um, score and then you had to have like your interview with the program director and they see if you're fit for the program so i did all of that in 2018 it wasn't really that hard of a process honestly i didn't know if i was gonna get accepted but i kind of had the thought that i was already accepted so i got accepted in the program you have two years worth of le okay in my program we had about about seven months of didactic classes and then the rest after that because you know it's a two-year program so the rest after that was just clinicals and also didactic but you take radiation biology you take anatomy and physiology you take physics um you take exposure and basically i want to explain like what a radiologic technologist is because a lot of people think we only take x-rays and that's not true at all we don't only take x-rays um we start ivs we do barium enemas we do a lot of stuff you also work really closely with the or staff because you're going to take images during surgeries and that's really cool um you get to see a lot of stuff and at first i thought x-rays was just taking x-rays of people's ankles but that's not it you do x-rays you do um c-arm you do fluoro exams let's see and you work closely with like ct mri sonography which is ultrasound and it's really great um you're also going to have clinical rotations and i had eight different clinical rotation sites i worked with i did all i did basic x-ray i also worked with ct um just to get a feel of it and i actually really do love ct i think that's what i want to do next you see a lot of things in your clinical rotations um they expect a lot out of you for free and you know it's okay like we're here to learn at the end of the day um you're gonna deal with a not a lot but you are gonna deal with a lot of good techs and you're gonna deal with a lot of bad techs and the thing that sucks is that um some people will tell you one thing and another people like another person will tell you something else and then um then they get mad at you and you're, they're just like how come you don't know this and you're like well somebody else told me this and you know you have to make sure that you at least try to stick by the book when you're out in your clinical rotations although it is extremely nerve-wracking when you first start your clinicals um you do get the hang of it after like two weeks i would say um try to jump in try to like take initiative because if you don't your techs are gonna see that and they're gonna mm, she's kind of lazy i don't really want to work with her i don't really want her working with me blah 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 so definitely don't be lazy and just be prepared to work because you don't want to get the reputation that um you're lazy because a lot of rad techs know each other another thing that i wanted to talk about was about the ART exam and that's the exam that you take once you are done with the program because just because you did you finished the two years doesn't mean you're gonna grab like you're gonna actually pass your board exams and that's really what you have to do because there are some people have taken the board because you can only take it three times before you have to retake the program and each exam is about two hundred dollars so there have been some people who pay two hundred dollars three times and fail it three times and then retake the program and you don't want that to be you so you have to be prepared to study and people don't talk about this a lot but you really have to be prepared to study and dedicate time out of your day your week your weekends to actually study and learn the material because if you don't learn the material and you're just cramming like i did um you don't really learn it and you have to learn it all at the end of the two years and that's just not smart but that's what i did but don't be like me yes i did pass but that was definitely by the grace of that was definitely by the grace of god it wasn't something that i did of course but i did study i did really study this program is extremely hard so you really have to make sure that you dedicate time to study and if you're working full time i do not recommend doing this program um because I had some people in my class that were working full time, they had kids, and they were doing this program. Because this program is a full time job that you're not getting paid for. And they ended up dropping the program because it was just too too much. And you don't want to be stressed out for the next two years because you're most likely to, you know, fail if you don't 
keep up with it. I had a part-time job. I didn't work full-time. I tried to, but it was too much. Luckily, I didn't have I didn't have to pay rent, um, but I did have to pay for a car. I had to pay like credit cards and all that kind of stuff, like little stuff like that. Some people don't talk about this a lot, but don't be ashamed if you're on food stamps during the program, okay? Set yourself up so you can be successful in this program and don't think that you can't ask for help especially from the government because you know they should be helping us and i was broke a lot through the program and nobody talks about this i was broke a lot sometimes i would have like ten dollars to last me two weeks and i had to put gas in my car and it's just like thank god i had food stamps because you know what was i gonna eat other than that this program even though it is really hard it is really rewarding at the end of the day i believe in you so if you're gonna be doing this program definitely go ahead and do it and it's just you're gonna love it.